Hey, thanks, Eric. Well, let's jump straight into a police arrested rap pioneer, Kid Creole, from the 80s group Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five for a deadly stabbing in New York. Nathaniel Glover Jr. is accused of stabbing a 55-year-old man just before midnight on Tuesday. The man was found on the sidewalk near Grand Central Station and rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. NYPD Blue, oh, NYPD says, isn't that the TV show that yeah. I just talked about? <laughs> NYPD says surveillance video identified Glover at the scene. They say he and the victim argued and Glover allegedly pulled out a weapon and stabbed the man twice in the chest and once in the stomach. Glover has been charged with second degree murder. That gets intense. Now moving on, Kensington Palace tweeted this photo of the Duke Edinburgh and Queen Elizabeth ahead of his last official engagement. Prince Philip attended his last official public engagement yesterday with Captain's General Parade of the Royal Marine and is now officially retired. Prince Philip has accompanied the Queen on her royal duty since 1952. He has supported a wide range of charities and is a patron or a president of some 800 organizations. Oh, bless him. We'll miss him dearly. A California artist pays tribute to a late musician and 20-foot tall painting of Lincoln Park singer Chester Bennington went up behind a Los Angeles restaurant. It is large. It can be seen from the freeway. It is huge. What are we talking about there? The artist spent two days creating it. Bennington committed suicide on July 20th. He was 41 years old. We'll miss him. Now, the Hollywood Reporter has revealed that Vin Diesel will be the executive producer of the Miami Vice reboot. Say it's not so. Yep. Diesel will be teaming up with the Fast and Furious writer Chris Morgan for the reboot, which will be set to air on NBC. I'll leave it alone. It was too good. It should not be remade, let me <laughs> tell you. Notorious that Big's legacy still lives on 20 years after his death in Brooklyn, New York. A new, newly named basketball court has been unveiled in his honor. The Christopher Big Biggie Wallace courts now sit in the heart of the neighborhood where the late rapper grew up. Modern family star Sofia Vergara is now afraid to is not afraid to bear it all. She's actually very proud of it. Vergara said that she is proud to be 45 and to be, you know, strong with her body. She speaks about posing nude at the age of 45 and says that you're not perfect then, but you should be proud of yourself. I think she looks fantastic, but oh, she's yeah. 45. She looks amazing. Justin Bieber seems to be re reaffirming his dedication to his faith by showing off a new tattoo. Biebs posted a close-up of his face where you will see a tiny cross next to his left eye. There it is there. True believers noticed it months ago, but now that Biebs is highlighting the tattoo, it shows us that he is fully committed. After many apparent reasons for cancelling his purpose tour, Biebs now says that he cancelled the tour to rededicate himself to Christ. It's an intense tattoo. Okay. <laughs> Coming up, we'll, take, we'll have our take and look at the recipe in Chef Allison Davis and her delicious grilled portobello mushrooms.